Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. The future looks brilliant now. Why is everything about the future? You're walking around with our heads in the clouds. And we won't even be around long enough to benefit from it. Stop your weight, Grace. Not so selfish, Peter. Everyone's selfish when you boil it down. No, they're not, Peter. There's plenty of people willing to make sacrifices for the good of those around them. That's true. Look at those who died in wars for the greater good. Wasted lives. I say let the strong dominate. Let them have what they want. And if you're weak, let's go away and hide. Yeah, you say that, Peter, because you live in the world of the strong. Yeah, yeah, so what are we supposed to do? Never plan for anything? Exactly. Well, that's crazy. But you're ranting again. You always like this after a few drinks. It's the truth. The truth is relative to your perspective, and yours is clearly self-centered. Everybody's a me in the end. So what would you do, Peter? Oh God, please don't. First of all, I would stop uh, wasting resources on dreamers. It's been out an hour if you have it. Keep it simple. Keep it safe. Safe. It's got to take risks. Who wouldn't put a man on the moon if he didn't take risks? Oh, that time and effort. What we did was push a bit of dust around. Come on. I know, I know. People need their distractions. Although it's too scary for them, I think. But you scratch the surface of any ideology and you will find a terrified little creature underneath. And that is why it is inevitable. What's inevitable, Peter? Our demise. Honey, did you have a bad dream? What's this? Oh, it's a message. Do you want me to read it, Grace? Out loud? Don't, Don't worry, we, we will fix, fix it. it. There, there is good, good in everyone, everyone. We and we will reach, reach down, down and lift up those, those who need help. We will, we will stop, stop the wars and the, and the greedy keeping, keeping it all. We will repair our broken planet. And when that is done, we will build a bridge that goes through the clouds into the sky and make cities in the stars. And even if all we do is lay down a few bricks, that takes us a little bit closer. Doesn't it doesn't matter. Because our dreams will fill the next generation with hope. Because hope is a big bridge. I wrote that letter when I was 11 years old. 
I think there's still a little girl inside of me, just like there's a child in all of you. I hope you're enjoying your visit here to NASA today. This place is filled with dreamers, brilliant dreamers. Sometimes I think I'm an imposter. I mean, yeah, really? Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> I have a message for all of you building our future. Don't forget to dream, and dream big. And when you try to realize your dream, don't be disappointed if progress seems slow or if you feel like you're wasting your time. Just hold on, hold on to that initial impulse, that spark, that spark that lit the fire in your belly. Because one day the clouds will part, you lift your head, you look around and you'll realize you're on your way. <laughs>